Good afternoon, man. 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how we like to use the pass commit feature to stop the run. Now, if you guys were paying attention a couple weeks ago and I released a, or actually not a couple weeks ago, actually I think it was yesterday or maybe one or two days ago, when I released the video, the top five tips to stop the run in Madden 25, if you haven't seen that, there will be a link in the description that you can check it out if you want to get some context for this video. But basically we talked about, uh, one, of our number, one of our tips was use pass commit to stop the run. And I want to expand a little bit more on that, and this is going to be served as one of our advanced tips for this week. And the reason that I want to expand on it is because I feel like a lot of people think that that's kind of a, a little bit contradictory. You're going to pass commit to stop the run. What are you talking about? And what I mean by that, and real quickly here, we're just going to use a very basic run defense. We're going to use the fire zone 2 uh, from the 5-2, and we're just going to use a basic run as well. But I want to show you what happens if you don't pass commit. So one popular way to set up the fire zone 2 is to spread the defensive line, take the safety, bring him in the box, and then play kind of like a kind of like a cover one style up top. And uh, your your responsibility here is to kind of user control that left side um, and, and just kind of anyway. But let's hop in here and let's see. So here we're going to run the ball, and you see that the Chris Johnson is going to do a really nice job of getting some positive yards. Now I wanted you to notice one thing. When we go into instant replay here, uh, which if you're not using instant replay to solve your problems in the running game, you really should. But basically, watch the linebackers after the snap. You see how they stand still like that, and they ba but then they react. You see, look, they look for they look in the backfield for a couple of seconds, and then they go to the outside. You see that little tur turn of the hips. As soon as the ball is given to Chris Johnson, they're turning to him. Okay, so that's just let's just let's just use that as a feature. Now let's do the same thing, but let's put them in flat zones, and let's. Pa uh, Let's actually let me, let me show it to you if they are in flat zone. So you see they do the same exact thing here that just happened. So let's get down here and let's show you this because uh, this is a very huge tip, and uh, I think we can learn a lot from this video. So, uh, anyways, but let's oh I actually bump some buttons there, but let's look at this. So you see these linebackers here again, and you see how again they're staying still, still, still. Then once they see the handoff, then they move. That's very important. Now watch this contrast. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to put the linebackers in flat zones. Now we're going to pass commit. Now watch what happens. Now I hope you guys caught what happened there because it's a very huge contrast and it's a very huge point for run defense. Watch what the linebackers do when we pass commit. They don't wait. They are flowing to the outside as soon as the play is snapped. Okay, I hope you see that because that's a huge... Again, we're going to get back to that in just a moment. But do you see that right there? You see how they're going to flow to the outside. So then that makes me think, okay, well, how can we make that usable? Because everyone's attacking the outside when they run. Most people aren't running halfback dives, and you know, and that's not really something that I've heard a lot of people having trouble with. But what they're having trouble with is like pa pa pistol strong, uh, pistol trip strong power, pistol a strong power, buck sweep, uh, jet sweep, stuff like that. Stuff that are outside runs. They can't seem to stop the outside run. Well, we're going to show you how to stop the outside run today. So the play that I like to use uh, to do this, and we can, it's just any play, but basically you want to take like a, some kind of, let's just use a 3-4 solid trio sky zone for an, as an example here. But you want to use a play like this, and so what we can do, and I accidentally came out in the wrong play on offense, so we're going to have to reset the play here. And we're just we're gonna actually show you Buck Sweep because I think I have the I think I have that playbook here. Let's see if we can grab the Buck Sweep playbook and or the Buck Sweep formation. Some people run the Buck Sweep playbook. Uh, that's just, uh, anyway here. Let's take a look at the Buck Sweep. So three four solid and the play we're gonna be using is a trio sky zone. This is a popular run defense. A lot of people like to use it. So now what I want to do here with this theory that I'm working on. Is I still want to be able to get pressure because I'm going to pass commit. So if they go play action, my blitz will work. So I'm going to crash my defensive line down. I'm going to pass commit. I'm going to use the same setup we talked about. But now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this guy here, Vincent Ray, throw him in a flat zone, move him over the center just a little bit, pass commit, so that that flat zone goes to the right side of the screen. Now I can bring the safety down in the box like this 
And now you see how I have a really strong look over here to that right side. So now play runs, that flat zone gets wide, and take a look at what we've got set up here for a little buck sweep run defense for you guys today. This is, I think that this is the secret to run defense in 925. I think some people would agree with me, some people would disagree because they say, oh, well, you get eat up in the middle. But I think this is the secret, and I, I think this is a huge tip uh, that I don't think a lot of people have talked about this season. But let's take a look at this. So we run the play, and the blitz is going to come through. It's going to seep through like this. So that that's not going to happen every time. Ray Maluga is not always going to get that block shed. Let's just disclaimer that because I know a lot of people have said, oh, I've tried that, blah, blah, blah. My guy never gets a block shed. We get that. He does not get – so let's just imagine. Let's just put on our Barney hats and use our imagination. Let's take a look at what happens if Chris Johnson – breaks it to the outside. So say he breaks that tackle. He will be, uh, you see how we have the numbers game? You see how that safety, that's my user player, is going to give us the numbers advantage to fill the lane and get out there. There's always one extra guy when you use that flat zone. So let's take a look at this again. And I hope this time that Ray Maluga actually doesn't get blo or, uh, gets blocked here. But so you see, and another thing that I like to talk about as well is having yellow zones that go down on the ball. You see how this yellow zone goes down like this? You see how the thing is pushing him down? When you pass commit, he's going to pull down even quicker. Again, he's not going to wait to react. So here we go down again, and you see there's the same run defense. And there, uh, Chris Johnson just made a phenomenal running move. But that's just something that we, it comes back to your user skill. When I'm playing both sides, it's a little difficult to show. But now watch what happens. So you see here, Ray Maluga gets blocked. Our flat zone comes out, sets the edge, and we get out there and clean it up. And obviously, that's a terrible job tackling by me, but you see what I'm talking about. So that's another example of why we like to pass from it in Madden 25, guys. I think that's the secret to run defense this year. Uh, you may disagree. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. I think this is one of the better ways to stop the run in Madden 25. I love using this uh, because I think it does a really nice job at, at really lurking that outside edge and picking up and giving us an extra player to get that side. Let's just show you real quick a contrast. Let's just show you a contrast here uh, just for the sake of, of argument here. So let's just show you. So say we don't put the guy in the flat zone as I throw my controller down. So let's just say we don't put the guy in the flat zone. Um, or crap, let me reset the play here. I messed this all up. We're going to have to just run the play. Get down. So let's say I don't pass him in. I do the same thing, but I don't pass him in. Okay, so let's go through like this. We're going to drop this guy over here. We're not going to pass commit. And we're going to run it. And you see, that's probably the problem that you guys have had all season long. Let's take a look at what happened here. So as you see here, this time the middle linebacker doesn't get wide. He doesn't set the edge. And look, you see how it's wide open now. And that's probably the pro one of the issues you guys have had stopping the run. Because you feel like, oh, well, the linebacker should fly out there at least and take some blockers up. Even, and especially if I put him in a flat zone to that side. Uh, but now you'll see here when we pass commit again, and we're just kind of giving you another example, but you see he gets out there, sets that edge. That time we put him in a purple zone just to kind of show you you could sometimes get away with doing that if you like curl flat zones. So I'll show you that again. Here you go, buck sweep. And use your user control player to make the play. So that's how I like to stop. That's one of the, my secret tips for stopping the run. I've talked about it. I wanted to expand on it today. If the video was beneficial at all to you, if you could just let me know uh, what you thought of it. And if you could possibly uh, just leave a like rating on the YouTube video, I would greatly appreciate it. It just shows your support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please get in touch with me if you would like some more information about my content for Madden 25. I look forward to talking with you and engage with you outside of YouTube. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch.tv, guys for our live stream this Saturday at 10 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be live streaming Madden all day. It's going to be sub Saturday. I want to see how many guys we can get over to twitch.tv to follow me on the live stream so that we can start live streaming more regularly and giving you guys more opportunities to get involved with me outside of YouTube. Thanks for your time today. I hope that this tip was worth your time, and we'll talk to you later.